I'm Mike Newberry. This is Arlington, Georgia, and we're in Early County. This is Hillside Farms, and uh, I'm the fourth generation here on the farm. My daddy is still here uh, with us, and uh, we grow corn, cotton, and peanuts, and also have a beef cattle operation. Well, this farm, uh, we're, we're, where we are now is, is the central part of the farm. It's an original part, as a matter of fact, this little community was Hillside, and, and that, that building right there was actually the Hillside Baptist Church uh, that closed in the 50s. Um, we originally, uh, we had hogs on this farm uh, until about 30 years ago, uh, 25, 30 years ago. And uh, we've always grown uh, peanuts, corn, and cotton. We went through a period of not growing cotton, but we began growing cotton again in the 80s. Particularly looking at the peanut industry, when you look at agriculture in our county, just think about all the parts of the industry that are here. Uh, all the crop protection products that we need are sold here. Uh, our seed are here. Uh, our equipment is all here. We can buy it all here. We can sell our crop here. It can get shelled here. It can get blanched here. And it can get processed here. So just think about how many people that means that are involved in agriculture. Think about all that uh, tax structure that that involves. So yeah, agriculture is super important in these small communities and particularly peanuts in a county like ours. The farm bill um, smooths out the rough spots. It allows us to uh, continue some reasonable level of production when prices are depressed so that that food supply remains constant in our country. And uh, they function, function very well for that. We forget that sometimes. They're, they're, not, they're not farm bills, they're really food security bills. And, and we forget that, we, we lose focus of that. We haven't done a good job of marketing that to the American public, I don't think. It's, it's all, those, those bills are designed to uh, to provide a uh, safe and secure and adequate food supply and fiber supply for our, for our country, not, not necessarily to prop up the farmer. I enjoy being outside. I enjoy the freedom that we have as farmers, even though uh, once we get started in, in the planting season, it, it, it's, uh, it really gets busy because once we start having a crop here, then we have to start irrigating it. And uh, uh, that's, the, uh, that's the hard thing about this now is, is, is keeping the irrigation going. For someone that might be interested in gr going into farming, I would tell you to study hard. That doesn't necessarily mean to be in college, but it means to, to learn everything that you can. Uh, about this this field uh, you're going to have to work awful hard and one of the mistakes people make is uh, don't realize how involved their family is going to have to be in what they do this is not an eight to five job it's not a job where you can uh, uh, make plans and always be able to fulfill those plans sometimes you have to change on the go and uh, it takes an awful lot of family flexibility to do that I learned long ago that Telling the agricultural story uh, is, is very important. We assume everybody understands what we do. But now more than ever in my lifetime, uh, there's a lot of misinformation about what we do, particularly about our crop protection products. GMOs have become such a buzzword now, so misunderstood. And I learned a long time ago also, if you want to tell the story, you better tell it so that you can make sure it got, right, got told right. Be, don't be afraid to tell it yourself because uh, you may be the one that knows the story best.